When I made up my mind that I was interested in working in the doctoral program, I decided I would go over to the College of Education to just to inquire to see what kind of procedure I would have to go through. I was greeted by Dr. Wesley Sowards, who at that time was the dean, who said to me, I'd like to hear more about you. And I told him what I, had, what I was interested in, and he said, wow, so you've already done research. Go back to Florida A&M University and get a copy of it and bring it to me. I brought it back to him, and he said, wow, this is a baby dissertation. And he said, I am going to see that you enter Florida State University without a GRE score. And I'm sure I'm the only student who has ever gone into a doctoral program without having ha had a GRE score. When he looked at my research project, which he read overnight, he decided that you deserve it and I'm going to make it possible for you to enter. And so he did. In the fall of 1969, I entered Florida State University. At that time, I wanted to go into elementary education, but he said, no, you can't go into elementary education. We've just graduated two blacks, so we're going to send you up to foundation. It's in education secondary, and I went there for a semester. And he said, you wait now until the faculty in elementary education invites you to come down to take their courses. And of course, they did. The next semester, all the faculty were asking me, would you come down and take my course? I'd like to have you take my course. And so then the second semester, I had all of my courses in elementary education. I was again, during the program, uh, I was very happy with the following people who just nurtured me. Dr. Nancy Douglas, Mrs. Faye Kirtland, Dr. Edwin Smith, Dr. Billy Geis, Belen Mills, Glennon Rowell, Carol Brown, Carol Schluck and her husband, Dr. Marion Black, whom I'm eternally grateful to and who was my mentor, and Dr. Swearingen. These people nurtured me. They saw to it that everything came off on time and they gave me courage. At the end of the program, at the end of the program, I had already finished my dissertation before I was scheduled to do my comps. The department became very concerned about it. Here's a lady who has finished her dissertation and she's never had her written comps or her orals. So they decided one day, well, we'll give her another major prof. And they did, they called me in and asked me if I would write a letter of recommendation for Dr. Rowell, Glennon Rowell, and I did. In three days, I had a new major professor and he scheduled immediately my comps, and I was ready to graduate. I graduated in the, f in the spring of 1972. That is my feelings for it, and I, I truly want to say to these great women who are going on now, Dr. Swearingen, Dr. Marion Smith, and Faye Kirtland, Billy Geis and their Ed, Edwin Smith, that they were real people to me, and I will never forget them. And when I think of Florida State University, I always think of them.